Hello, my name is Sharon Lyons from Sight and Sound Technology and today I'm going to show you the Mercury 13 uh, education system which is an all-in-one solution for students working in uh, schools, uh, colleges and universities. It is a Microsoft Surface which, with a keyboard which is basically giving you a laptop capability and also a feature for near magnification for your books and worksheets where you can zoom in and an optional second screen with a distance camera for zooming into the whiteboard. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the Mercury 13 and the main part is the window surface in the stand which folds up quite neatly. We place that on the desk, hold down the base and pull up the surface. Then we can have our keyboard connected which is Bluetooth and we can open something like Word and off we go using it as a laptop and we also have a touch screen, a touchpad here as well so we can close that touch screen. Put that to one side and then we'll set up our cameras so this is the distance camera so we can plug that and put that into the stand and then there is a USB hub built into the stand and a light so I just have to connect with a USB-C connection to the laptop. So nothing is self-charging, it all charges off the laptop. There's our light to help us look at books and I can plug in my distance camera at the side. And then I run the Redesk software, grab a book, pop it underneath and I can start looking and zooming in on my book and I can switch to the distance camera and look at my makeshift whiteboard presentation and I can organize this so it's a bit straighter. If I have the second screen I can slot that into the stand and plug that into the other USB-C connection on the tablet and now I can do my split screen. So I have my distance magnification on the top screen and my book below. So now we're going to have a look at the near magnification feature which actually uses the uh, camera on the surface, you can see there. So the surface tablet itself is in the stand upside down so it gives us the use of this very high quality camera. And we can put our book underneath and we can zoom in. Um, if it goes a bit blurry we can just refocus. And we have lots of options here in the toolbar where we can change the colour schemes and this can make a huge difference to a student with low vision. So whatever they are looking at they can adjust the colour scheme to make it easier to read and zoom in and out. We can also zoom in and out with the plus and minus on the toolbar as well. And the new, new uh, feature on the Mercury 13 is we have contrast and brightness settings. So whatever the lighting in the room, we can get the best picture. Now we can move our book back and forth and we can even go right down to the bottom of the page where we have some pictures and a little bit of information in text there. Um, but this might be difficult to do. So what we can do is we can take a full page picture. So we just have to spend a little bit of time lining it up and I just zoom out and I should be able to get a whole A4 page there. I'll just refocus it and I'm going to save a picture and just show you what I did there. So I press the floppy disk and I press the camera to take a picture of the page. Then I can go into the grey button here which will 
show all the pictures that I've taken on a particular date. It's a Canadian company, so we have the month first. And then we can have a look, and there is our full page. We can spin that around, and we can zoom in on the text. And we can also get it to read back to us. So if the eyes are very tired. A wildlife lawn wildflower patch. In Ireland, we have 99 bee species, one honeybee, 21 bee. And I can just pause that and I can still zoom in and choose to read from a different part of the page. You want to go right down, see what this says. Long flowering meadow provides a den shelter for pollinators. <laughs> pollinators, okay. And then we can make sure we save that picture just to be sure. And we also have another floppy disk here uh, icon, which means save the text off of the page. And we can adjust our colors, although I adjusted the colors before we went to the picture. So now we're going to have a look at the distance magnification, which uses the distance camera, which is plugged into the surface uh, through a USB port. The camera isn't charged up separately, it, it uses its charge from the Surface tablet. And um, in the setup I, in the introduction, I had the second screen, so I'm just going to show you the distance with just the one screen option here. So what we do is we have our camera connected and we go to our toolbar and press the kind of yellow telescope button and then we have my laptop that's simulating an interactive whiteboard here um, and we can use the buttons on top of the camera to zoom in and out and I'll just give it a chance to refocus and we can also zoom in and out we're a little bit too close there and struggling to focus there we go so we can zoom in on some of the writing there. We can also, if I zoom out a wee bit just to get the whole screen in and let it focus and then um, I can do the colour schemes if I want, again same as the near magnification and I can also take a picture so I can save a photo and then I can go into my dates I have lots of photos um, and I can have a look at the pictures that I've taken today and there is the picture of the whiteboard which has pretty much got everything on it um, if it was a whiteboard of handwriting on it um, we could zoom in and out uh, but we couldn't read but because this is text I could also get it Mercury 13 print. low vision computer system because it's print I can get it to read the print the Mercury 13 is a lightweight compact Windows tablet based system specifically designed for the visually impaired the Merc and I can pause it I can then save my picture and I can save the text off of this picture as well and next we will go and see where these saved files are but if i come back again you can also do a split screen just to show you on the one screen you can do a split screen between the near magnification with your book and the distance magnification of a presentation or whiteboard So now we're going to have a look at where our pictures are saved that we have taken with the Read Desk software. So this is kind of the scenario where now we're having a look at our homework or studying um, and accessing the information that we collected in the classroom. So we can open our files here generally and we have our standard Windows files here with documents and downloads and pictures. If we go into pictures there's a folder called Read Desk and then we have all the pictures that we've taken by date and the most, the last one is going to be the most recent one that's today and here are the pictures that we've taken. 
So we can just open one of these and it will open it like a picture and we can zoom in and have a look at the pictures that we took or we can open it in a program like Paint 3D and as our Mercury 13 education system comes with a stylus we could actually zoom in and write on our or, or annotate our pictures. And then we could save that and we could email it to our tutor, um, we could print it. We could also, um, we also saved some text so we can go into our documents folder and again read desk text. We just changed the view there. So we have a folder called read desk text and in here again the last one is going to be what I saved earlier and I can zoom in on this. It just opens in notepad because it's a text file and if I wanted to I could type in some answers to the questions if it was a worksheet or some notes on the information that I've collected in the classroom. So now um, I'm just going to show you a further capability of the second screen. So when we looked at the second screen, first of all, we had our distance magnification, so our view of the whiteboard or the presentation on the second screen, and we had our near magnification, our book or worksheet that we're looking at on the Surface tablet. But because it's a second screen, just an extension of the Windows uh, tablet screen, we can do other things as well. So for example, um, here I have a book in Dolphin Easy Reader. So this is an ebook that I can have on one screen and then I have Word where I could be making notes on, on the other screen. So what I do is if I keep the notes down here and go to the Easy Reader, I can use the mouse to move this up onto the second screen or I can use very handy shortcuts which is Windows, Shift, and the arrow keys and now my book is up on the second screen and I can still access it and I can still press play if I wanted to read it. Mr. Hemingway says a lot of things I don't understand. And Matilda said to... Because this is not a touch screen so I can't tap on there but now I can have a look at my book that I'm reading and I can make my notes today I'm studying. <laughs> and whatever book it is. So I can basically open any applications and using the Windows Shift and arrow keys, I can move them onto the second screen and have the two screens available for study.